Now, Mark and Whitney on February 12th, Spokane police arrested this man, 29 year old Lucas Ellerman. Before his arrest, police already knew about his list of felony convictions and a recent ammunition purchase. So when officers responded to the chase Ellerman led them on, he was considered armed and dangerous. Spokane police released this body camera video of Lucas Ellerman's arrest today. But shortly after his arrest last winter, complaints were filed claiming the arrest was excessively violent. The Spokane Police Department was already conducting a use of force review of the arrest, but the complaints prompted an internal affairs investigation. This incident involved two officers trying to apprehend a subject they knew was a multi-time convicted felon that they had reason or good reasonable information and reason to believe he was armed with a handgun. The Spokane Police Department identified the officers involved as Dan Lesser and Scott Lesser. This is Officer Dan Lesser's body camera capturing the arrest. He started recording after Ellerman's truck crashed into a snowbank and police pinned him there. We're at Carnahan and uh, Fourth, trying to pin him in. He's in a car smoking. After Officer Dan Lesser smashes open the passenger window, he hears the suspect say he has a pistol. That's when police sent the canine into the cab of the truck and attacked Ellerman. Police eventually drug him out and searched him for weapons. We learned from police today officers never found a gun at the scene. Seriously, dude, I about shot you. Why'd you tell me you had a gun for? So you shot me. Why? What do you want to die? Results from the department's internal investigation determined the officer's use of force was within its policy. However, Captain Tom Hendren says they determined a mix of Officer Lesser's demeanor and profanity was not according to policy. Were they acceptable in the sense of how we want our officers to act? No. But from a standpoint of law, he, he wasn't doing this with the intent to intimidate or harass. He was doing this with the intent to de-escalate and not have this subject provoke him into deploying deadly force. Now, Chief Craig Meidel says consequences for Officer Dan Lesser violating the department's policy for his demeanor will be decided this week. Amanda Rowley, Crime 2 News. Amanda, thank you very much. Spokane Mayor David Condon sent out a statement following the release of the body camera video. He acknowledges the arrest removed a dangerous person from Spokane streets, but he says the demeanor and disturbing language used by the officer demonstrates the need to hold officers accountable to the highest standards.